We are still waiting, of course, for our invitation to the wedding, but here's the good news. We are lucky enough to have been invited here to the Tower of London. More than a million visitors pass through these historic gates each year, and that makes it the most popular tourist attraction in all of London. And lucky us, we got a rare look behind the scenes of the place that we will be calling home for the next week. Filled with legend, tradition, and dark secrets, the Tower of London is a reminder of England's imperial past. Located on the banks of the River Thames, just below the Tower Bridge, in the center of this modern city, the Tower is a living history book. So essentially this area is, is blocked off because... We stepped inside its ancient area. stone walls with Chris Morton, one of the Tower's famous yeoman warders. We're just coming into the inner ward of the Tower now. The massive central white tower started it all. Built by William the Conqueror in 1078, it's been guarded ever since by men like Chris. Today, the role of the yeoman warders, more commonly known as beef eaters, is not to protect the monarch, but to protect the history of this storied place by educating millions of visitors, often with a healthy dose of British humor. Remember, sometimes it takes more than one attempt to take your head off. <laughs> The bee feeders live on site, sharing their home with some very well-known birds. Why are there ravens here? Well, it's all part of an old superstition that if the ravens leave, the tower will fall down and they'll no longer be a king or queen. To make sure that doesn't happen, their wings are clipped. Limiting flight, but not their signature strut. They keep your wits about you about where they are because they... Because uh, they'll go after our ankles, because they'll I'm perhaps, told. Perhaps they'll sneak up and try and bite you on the back of your ankle. That would be bad. The tower seems to invite the inquisitive, especially those seeking a lesson in its dark, bloody past, a time when heads literally rolled, including those of three queens. And were they all beheadings? They were all beheadings, yes. Anne Boleyn, she was beheaded, yes, but it was with a sword as opposed to an axe. And a two-handed sword came through and took off her head in one blow. This fortress, used over the centuries as a royal residence, a place of worship, and a stout symbol of the monarchy's enduring strength, is also ripe with secrets, seemingly around every corner. This is where all the important prisons were kept. This doesn't mean I'm going to end up a prisoner, right? Certainly not, no. <laughs> Some of England's most important criminals were kept as prisoners within the tower walls, including the famous author and eventual Catholic saint, Lord Chancellor Sir Thomas More. A one-time close friend and confidant of King Henry VIII, who, as Chris told me from Moore's cell, was beheaded for disagreeing with the king. Don't cross the king. Don't cross the king is the message. <laughs> Absolutely right. God preserve Queen Elizabeth! At the end of the day, the tower isn't all dark and treacherous. It's one of the rare places where you can not only glimpse nearly a thousand years of history, but also an important look into the London of today. And with us now is John Cahan. He's the Chief Yeoman Warder of the Tower of London. Good to have you with us. Thank you. And you're in charge of that ceremony of the keys, which is the longest running military ceremony, correct? Yes, we're very proud of the fact that it's been going on here within the Tower of London for over 700 years. So you lock it up every night? I don't personally, but I do it about two, two or three times a week. You also live, all the, all, the, all the beef eaters, all the yeoman warders live within the walls of the tower. What's that like? It's uh, awesome in many respects. It's uh, a wonderful privilege that we enjoy because as members of the Queen's Bodyguard, we get to live here as well. So what's it like on your days off then? Do you just join a tour for fun to look for pointers from your, from your other... <laughs> You certainly do when you first arrive here, but after you've been here as long as I've been, after 20 years, then uh, you quite look forward to actually leaving the tower and going to wherever you choose to reside. Um, are the Americans generally well behaved on the tours? Oh, very much so. Good. And they are always very interested in what we have to tell them. Good, we like to hear that. It's been such a pleasure. Thanks for hosting us here. We're, it's we're been really a great enjoying pleasure. It. We're glad to have you. Good. Well, we're stuck with us for a few more days, so that's good. John, thanks.